In this video, we diagnose, remove, repair, and replace a bad alternator. The first thing I do is look at the battery voltage. And as you can see, it's quite low. It's under 11 volts. So this battery is completely discharged. I compare this voltage to a known good battery, which is in my truck, comes in at 12 and 3 quarter volts. So I'm going to jump start the car and after hooking up the jumper cables I make note of the voltage and the dead battery is trying to equalize with a good battery and is drawing down a full volt lower than than the fully charged battery. So next thing I do is I fire up and I get a reading with the uh, engine running to see if the alternator has any output. This reading I get here is actually a false reading. It says it's charging 13.38 volts or something around there. This reading, however, is totally bogus, as we will soon find out. But in the meantime, I jump over to the known good alternator and look at its out output at 14.22 uh, volts. So back to the project at hand. When I do finally disconnect the jumper cables from the project car, it puts a load on the alternator and the voltage drops down to the, the baseline battery voltage. And this is the proof that we were looking for to show that this alternator is in fact not working and that that earlier 13 and a half volt reading was erroneous. So we get to business. First thing that I'll do is disconnect the battery, uh, negative and positive. If there's not a uh, diagram of how the belt runs, go ahead and make your own. So we've got alternator, water pump, power steering, crankshaft, air conditioning, idler pulley, tensioner pulley. So we go over this one, around that one, over this one, under that one, over that one, around that one, under that one, back to there. Think you can remember that? Why take a risk? So to get the belt off, I take my half inch ratchet and I stick it in to the tensioner and I uh, loosen that up a bit so I can get the belt off. And then from this point, I tackle the three bolts that actually hold the alternator in place. There's two in the bottom and there's one more in the back and then after that we go after the uh, wiring harness there are only three connections to worry about on the uh, wiring that? for the alternator what's that free take that off set over here in the battery tray for storage we have that connection free Pull it off. Like that. Okay, we're gonna loosen this bracket. Not like that. Let's see, get that out of the way and pull the alternator out the top side. And just like that. Since I have the time, I'm going to go ahead and charge the battery. 2 amp automatic. It's taking a charge. So you don't have to charge the battery, but I really think it's a good idea just to take the load off of the, the new alternator. Because I don't think they're designed to charge dead batteries. I think they're designed to maintain a full charge despite using all your electronics. But here I am, coming to the starter and alternator rebuild Here we place. Go. Here's the local starter and alternator repair place. What he said. So I'm here at DC starter and they opened it up for me, showed me what was wrong and the, uh, the brushes had cut into the rotor, ruined it. They said they could patch it up. 70 bucks. What a bargain. And I get to support local business. Pretty cool. 
Yeah, so seriously, how cool is that? 70 bucks. I get to know exactly what was wrong with it. Get the same one back, same day. You know, that's going to save, uh, save my friend $130 from buying one from, you know, uh, AutoZone or O'Reilly's that was rebuilt from God knows where in India or China, someplace where they don't care. Oh, yeah. They rebuilt the starter for me. Very nice. Now I just need to install it. So putting it back together is just as easy as taking it apart, except for it's reverse. So uh, hook up the electric, get the bolts in there nice and tight. Don't forget the one in the back. And uh, I don't believe I filmed putting the, the belt on, but you know, they can slip around. It's a little tricky. The long story short, you fire it up. You test for your voltage and you prove that it works. This one turns out it puts out the exact same voltage as uh, the, the alternator in my Toyota. So that was nice. Makes me feel good. That's it. This is how you replace, repair, change an alternator. Hope you enjoyed the video. And uh, a little more like this. Subscribe.